Hey, it's Modesta here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how to prepare fabric for sewing. Before you cut out your pattern, you're going to want to prepare the fabric in a way that improves the overall look of your finished product. So once you select the fabric that you're going to be using, then you want to wash it just to remove any dyes that may be still in the um, loose, you know, in the fabric from the printing process and also to pre-shrink any fabric if it applies. So what you're going to do is when you buy fabric, they have care instructions on the end of the bolt. So just make a note of the care instructions and use those when you're ready to wash your fabric. So I don't know about you, but my ironing board always has spots on it that come from whatever, from random things. So I usually cover my ironing board with fabric and although I'm using cream in the video, of course, don't use cream. I'm just using that for demonstration purposes. But um, yeah, it basically protects the fabric from any spots that may be on the ironing board cover. Or you could just replace your ironing board cover every two weeks or three weeks. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, the next step is to iron your fabric and ironing your fabric prevents it from having puckles in it when you're cutting. Um, you don't want that because it's going to, of course, affect the overall project. So the next part is straightening the grain. Um, and that's the last part. And basically it's going to take some patience and time to get the hang of it, but straightening the grain is very important. I'll link a video to where I talk about the grain and why that's important. Um, but what you're going to do to straighten it is you're going to cut through the salvage edge of the fabric. You're going to make a straight clip. Um, and what you're trying to do is find a crosswise thread so that you can pull it, loosen it, um, and then once it's released, it gives you a line to cut on so that you know that your fabric is perfectly straight across the grain. Um, so once you make that clip, then you're going to want to find a piece of thread. It doesn't matter which one as long as it's inside of that clip. Um, like say this loose thread there in the middle, I'm going to use that one and you pull it and what you're going to do is it's going to gather, of course, and you want to release the gather as you pull so that the tension doesn't pop the thread because if the thread pops halfway across the crosswise grain, that's going to be a disaster. It's kind of annoying to find the thread and all that kind of stuff. And um, it makes you just kind of want to start over and that's frustrating as well. So you see the way I'm, I'm smoothing it as I pull. So you're going to want to do that all the way across and then it's going to leave a mark like this, like a pinstripe mark kind of. It's a little bit lighter. You just have to pay attention, look closely, um, make sure you have good lighting wherever you're sewing. Um, and then you're going to cut along that line basically. It's pretty simple, straightforward, um, but I promise you it really does improve. For years I did not do this, but once I started doing it, it really, really helped um, the finished product. So that's going to be it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. Hope this helped. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.